No, to stock we've got a really, really nice car. It's a Volvo V40 cross country 2 litre D2 Lux Geartronic 5 door. It's um, 2015 on a 65 plate. We had one of these a, a couple of weeks ago and the, the phone melted off the hook for it. This is the automatic version as well, so it should be even rarer. Um, very, very economical. Fuel economy, urban 62.8 extra urban 78.5 and combined is 72.4 0 to 60 time of 9.9 .9 seconds at top speed of 118 miles per hour out of 120 brake horsepower 16 valve engine road tax is only 20 pounds a year as well and this car's mot till the 29th of 10th 2019 great color combination a nice light blue metallic and it's got black leather with contrast stitching High pressure headlamp wash. Got the front chin spoiler here, the chrome grille. Gloss black door mirrors, dark silver, multi-spoke alloys. Tinted windows with the, again, with the piano black surrounds. Aluminium roof bars. Electric boot release. Split folding rear seats. Plenty of room in the back there. Rear load cover. Got the integrated rear spoiler, rear wash wipe. Um, down here in the bumper, we've got reversing sensors and then the uh, scuttle plate at the back with the cross country insignia on. Not a fantastic amount of room in the back, but it is really, really nice. The interior in Volvos puts cars like Mercedes really to shame. Um, it's lovely leather, very, very luxurious looking and, and feel to it. A lovely orange contrast stitch on, on the seats. We've got a, a rear armrest here. And also, if you just pull this, that uh, pulls out the two cup holders. It's a three-seater, although the person who gets to sit on the armrest in the back here and those two um, seat belt fasteners is not going to have a very very comfortable trip um not fantastic amount of headroom but i, I don't expect you'd be buying this to uh, take five people uh, all the time so it, it is a compromise it's fitted with mats from new it's it doesn't look like it's been sat in it's a lovely lovely car uh, brushed aluminium trims right here around the door handle and uh, the electric rear window switch Just take you for a ride. We have two keys for it. They slot in the dash, foot on the brake, and the start stop button. Car is actually due for a service, um, which we will do. Okay, service history. Uh, 9th of the 6th, 2016, at 11,427 miles. It was serviced at uh, Riverside Volvo Doncaster, 17th of 7, 2017, at 22,617 miles. Again, Riverside Volvo Doncaster. Then it was MOT'd on the 30th of the 10th at 2018, at, uh, it says 30,000 miles. I'd be very surprised if it was dead on that. Riverside's, Riverside Volvo Doncaster. As I say, we will service it again. It, it is a beautiful car. Um, it has a very slight scuff on the front near side corner of the bumper, which we're going to get done. And apart from that, that's, that's just about the only thing I can find wrong with it so far. I'm going to take it for a drive now, make sure all the mechanicals are, are, are okay. But in, inside, as I said before, it puts uh, manufacturers like um, Mercedes-Benz and probably Audi and even BMW or, or BMW as well. I don't know why I said even, um, but it, it's absolutely beautiful inside. All the materials look really, really quality. Uh, the seats especially, they're very, very comfortable. I've had a few, a few Volvo, uh, Volvos in my time. Um, one of them was the old 480 ES, which um, this has a, a kind of similar shape to. And, and that was it. It was just a great car. 
it's just uh, so we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel there let's just I don't think we've got oh yes we have <laughs> product knowledge I um, power folding door mirrors just need to get a bit further back here that's got a proper handbrake which I like to see and we'll just now now I've moved further back just adjust the door mirrors so that one works click over to the right that one works too I've got electric windows all around it's 78.5 miles to the gallon it's uh, it's quite incredible really dark silver or most people would call it grey metallic alloy wheels a really really nice design easy to clean as well which uh, helps and it's the, the dash and the centre console and the gear tunnel again this is kind of dark silver a brushed aluminium effect but all really really nice and not too reflective either the sun was behind us there and it wasn't kind of glinting leather steering wheel multi function cruise control on the left and your audio controls on the right is it little touches as well um, one of the things I, I usually complain about is not being able to see the indicator stalk and the wiper stalk because the for some reason manufacturers put them just behind the quarter to three position certainly where I sit as well but with the Volvo stalks you can see just over here your lights there and then you can see the end the end just sticks out further than the steering wheel and it's the same with the wipers you can see that on the top there what that stalk actually does and um, you, your functions on the side here so it's it's a real well thought out cockpit and um, just subtle little touches like that that when we take people for a test drive and you get into a strange car people get flustered and they do the same thing over and over again and, and sometimes I do it if their indicators are, are on the the right they jump in and switch the wipers on and then they get all panicky and and that destroys the test drive or, or that the you, you only get one chance to make a a good first impression and that's the same with cars if you don't jump into a car and feel immediately at home um, and comfortable in it you take an instant dislike to it and I'm, I'm pretty sure if manufacturers just spend a few more minutes thinking about the, the design of the switch gear and stuff then um, it would be a lot easier for people like me to sell or, or to, to take take people test drives or even drive myself going from one car to another each driving different cars every day it would be great if you could just get get in them and they were all kind of <laughs> roughly the same and I'm sure there would be a lot less accidents and uh, anyway <laughs> enough, enough about that we need to fill the washer fluid so we we'll have to do that but we'll do that on the service it's got Bluetooth hands-free, it's also got Bluetooth audio streaming, which is a good thing. The audio system is tremendous. I'm not sure which one it's got. It, it might even have been upgraded. It does sound absolutely brilliant, so I wouldn't be surprised. Your lights are on the right-hand side here. In, go to the motorway. Got a feel, funny feeling this chap doesn't know where he's going.
now I'm certain he doesn't know where he's going and I'm also certain he's a shit driver. going to stay behind here just in case he, he does his emergency lane swap again. No, we're, we're safe now, we're, we're in front of him. Electric window switch is here, your electric dormer switch is there, global lock-in just there as you can hear. We've got uh, reversing sensors, high pressure headlamp wash. Um, with it being the cross country, it's slightly higher than the normal Volvo V40. Um, in, in my opinion, <laughs> it's probably uh, easier to get in for most people, especially if you're knocking on a bit like me. And uh, it's a more comfortable ride, not as sporty and it's, uh, it's, it's just nice. Got the uh, cross country badge in here on the dash as well. These aluminium insets, all, ma all matching, all contrasty, and just it just makes it feel um, like a, a more expensive car. The seats are, are really, really comfortable as well, built up at the side and at the back hold you in. We've also got lumbar support on driver and passenger seats. way here and then uh, we've not got too much time so so cruise on there we go set the cruise just increase it to oops increase it to 75 goes up in five mile increments there so we're doing 70 miles an hour 2,000 revs in the center of the display is your uh, speedo. You've got an analog speedo around the outside. You can have it set to digital speedo in the middle. You've got a massive eco gauge at the left-hand side of that. And then at the far left, fuel gauge, rev counter at the right, and uh, your, your gear display, what gear you're in. You can also knock across like so. That puts into sport immediately changes down to hold you in at a lower gear as long as possible so you can accelerate faster and uh, looks like we're slowing down to a crawl here just as I put it in sport <laughs> sport not so much We've got the aluminium roof bars on the the roof as you would expect. Lady with the bikes there, not allowing anybody to come into that lane. sunny day it's Friday I assume that everybody has finished work early and uh, they're off up to the Lake District which sounds like a great idea so front center armrest as well bit of loading space we've got a kind of louvered door there with two big cup holders and a, a power socket big load compartments here door trays, whatever you want to call them. I'll just put the, man, I, I can't really play, YouTube are, are clamping down on any music um, copyright claims. So if you play the radio in a car, 
the next thing you, you get a copyright uh, notice from YouTube saying you're using somebody else's material. So I can't really do that. I, I can only tell you it, it is really good. I'll show you how to pair your mobile to the system when we get back and also to delete a mobile and to stream audio. But it's this. it really, really is a lovely car. It's, it's a, a lovely uh, colour combination too. A good looking thing. Very, very nice cars, Volvos. We, we do ever so well with them, especially XC60s and XC90s. They absolutely fly out. But uh, say if the last one was anything to go by, that, the, the, the phone melted. And this is an automatic, which being a lazy driver, I prefer. steering test it's, uh, it's the English equivalent of the uh, corkscrew quite as big a drop away but equally as uh, disconcerting try sport again up here it's a nice bit of road so just holding it in gear change up and down by moving the gear stick backwards and forwards and it's it is it's a lovely driver's car. Nice smooth gearbox. You don't even know it's changed. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Back into economy or just normal drive. controls over here for setting the audio system let's just see I'm just there sound treble fader balance back to showing what it's playing on my phone at the moment 
that's the fan or you can click it on auto and then let's see what can we do there so there if you click that button the, the heater button it highlighted the right hand side there it's highlighted the left hand side net now so it's one switch which does both sides individually Also got stop start there by the look of it. It it just feels quality. It just feels well built and a, a lovely car. It feels solid. As I always say when, when I'm test driving Volvos, there's a Volvo out there that the, the guy, I think he's had from new, and he's done three million miles in it. Um, a Volvo P1800S like the Saint used to have, or Roger Moore used to drive in uh, the Saint. Good idea, Ringer, instead of talking at a roundabout. Right, here we go. Beautiful day today. That's the menu button. Telephone there, radio, media, heated screen, Eco Plus. All right, so we've, we should have had that button pressed. Get more miles to the gallon. My car, my V40, trip statistics, drive, tire monitor settings. It's uh, lunchtime in the UK, so uh, time for Starbucks. I will finish the test drive here. <laughs> 